Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new Attack on Titan video and in today's video we finally have a way better explanation and also translation for the actual interview with Mr. Hajime Sama from the Besatsu Shonen magazine that just got released a few hours ago. So every single stuff that I'm going to use in this video is from Kasumi. Kasumi, you guys can check out the original tweet in the description of this video. So without further ado, let's just go on and read through all of the interview right now. Interview summary of Mr. Hajime Isaema from Besatsu Shonen Magazine. The first rough draft of the final chapter I drew had the last page divided into about five panels, but I had the feeling that I couldn't quite get it right. At that time, the last page was a scene of three of them, which is Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin running towards a hill. After a meeting with the editor in charge, which is Kawakubo, and the others, I decided to change it in a hurry. And the result is the version that appeared in the May issue of Besatsu magazine. In the Besatsu magazine, the limit was 51 pages, but in the book, I can add 8 more pages, so I want to finish the last part of the story, which I couldn't do in the Besatsu magazine. The flow leading up to the final chapter was also shocking, especially with Eren. Next up, Mr. Hajime Isama also says that I have been checking out the reactions to the story with all my might. My honest opinion is correct as many as there are people, I think the way it was drawn. It could be mistaken as Armin approving of the massacre, but I think that the way I drew it was immature. Although actually Armin did not approve of Aaron's Heidi's action, but he was benefited from the massacre regardless of his intention. As Armin said goodbye to Aaron for the last time, which he could never be understood by anyone, he wanted to be close to Aaron as much as possible by telling him, thank you for being a slaughterer. The last part of the story made me realize that it was particularly difficult theme for me to draw and I really regretted that I couldn't express it properly in the manga. After 11 and a half years of work, when I finished this chapter, I really thought that I would be able to make everyone happy, but I think I was overconfident. I am sorry for those who disappointed in me but have been supporting me until the end. Next up, we also have what is the memorable event in the 11 and a half years of the series. So he answered with, I was happy that I got to know my assistants so well, we were all in our 20s at the start of the series but now we are all married with children and we now ha all have our own family. Also the TV anime version is another attack on Titan. Wait, the TV anime version is another attack on Titan and there are many people who got to know my work by watching that. So it was refreshing for me to be able to feel my own work. It was also interesting to see the characters move as in depth Wait, as independent lives away from my hands in a good way that were done by the director and voice actor which was a new experience for me. And also another question which is what is your favorite scene? And Mr. Hajime Isama answered with my favorite scene is when the jaw titan scratch the attack titan in chapter 104 the winner. I feel like I can draw a better picture than that. So um, yeah that's basically it for the um, what is your favorite scene and next up we also have what is your best episode which is what is your best um, chapter so he replied with firstly it's chapter 71 I think I got more out of it than I was capable of that time then it's chapter 69 I was like oh did I measure with my high self-esteem, I drew the rough draft. In chapter 91, the battle scene was the most fun I've ever had when drawing the manga. I was drawing it with full concentration and energy. Next up, we also have another question saying, I'm asking, what does attack on Titan mean to you, Isayama Sensei? And he replied with, it's a work of youth that came to me a little a little dead or rather, it's a work that contains one out of three parts of my life. It was a painful time but it was a time that couldn't be experienced normally and even now it felt unreal for me. 
um, it was a time that made me wonder whether it was real or not. I was pampered by my readers, but I also took their harsh words to my heart as I drew the story. And here we have the final question, which is please give us a message to your readers. So Mr. Hajime Isayama says, through Attack on Titan, I have been able to connect with more people than ever I could imagine. I was very happy to able to spend more time with the readers that I will never be never have been able to experience if I ever live a normal life. Also, now that the series is over that and I am free, I want to walk around unfashionable unfashionable town, which is a town like suburbs or villages, with a cup of sake in my hand. I think that's what freedom is all about. And that's basically it for the actual interview with Mr. Hajime Isama for this issue of Besatsu Shonen Magazine. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Like and subscribe if you like it. And see you guys in the next Attack on Titan video. Goodbye.